Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Cross Watchers, welcome. This is your February love month prediction. What is happening in love for Scorpio? Please only take what resonates. Don't let anything take from you. If you're cross watching, beware. You may hear something you don't want to hear. <laughs> it's always the way though, right? Okay, no need to worry. Okay, cross watcher, no need to worry. <laughs> Interesting. Um, okay, so we've got helpful people, remain positive and abundance. This sounds so good. And with no, we no need to stop. No need to worry, big happy changes. There's a lot of good coming your way, Scorpio. Abundance, helpful people, remain positive. <sighs> Is there money coming in with this love? Are you meeting through friends? Have you all but given up on love and then this one last push to remain positive actually brings you to like, like a pit of, of passion? Look at that like flame bowl in front of her. It just feels like your passion is being reignited here. And with that comes an abundance of, of health, I feel, but also wealth. Hmm, interesting. What is happening here for Scorpio? Thank you for being here. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Exchange your energy with the channel, with the reading. And of course, comment what resonates. You might even want to come back at the end of the month and give it another watch. New Moon in Leo, Shine. Wow, this is big, happy, shiny energy. Are you in the spotlight? Are you being put thrust in the spotlight? You're facing your, your you're turning your face towards the sun. That's for sure. Um, in a, in every way, and it feels very like you're getting your vitamin D. Whoa, I just heard in other ways as well. That's sneaky, cheeky, cheeky little spirit. All right, last quarter moon in Taurus. Be proud of yourself. That's that Leo energy, pride. Okay, and then we have last quarter moon in Leo, lighten up. Okay. I feel like it's you've come out of a really tense or dense situation where, um, you, yeah, there feels like you've given up and then there's one last push and you're three feet from gold and then you hit jackpot, like literally in every way, shape and form. Trust all will be well. New moon in Virgo. Okay. Okay, let's get some more information. Be proud of how far you've come. Lighten up. That looks like you've literally like lit up the Olympic torch and put it in the, um, what's it called? Like the, the bowl, I keep saying, but it's not the word. You know what I mean. It feels like an eternal flame. You've, you, you, you happen upon something that's an eternal flame because you didn't give up and actually you've been asking for help and... That possibly has been really hard for you to do, but it's helped you to to shine. It's helped, it's. I feel like you've gotten compliments here, and um, you, you're reminded about how beautiful you are and about how uh, magnanimous. I just heard magnanimous and magnetic you are, and then you're stepping into this time of like being proud of yourself and lightening up with the idea of finding love or falling in love or growing a situation if you're already in one. Um, there's that king of crystals. There's that abundance. That is a king of pentacles energy. Someone who is really um, in their abundance. That is really like uh, slow and steady and steadfast, um, grounded. But like, if you if you want something done, they're gonna do it. And they're gonna do it once and do it right and do it on time, even if it takes them a little bit of time. This is deep roots as well. Deep roots. Something flipped. Perspective. Hangman energy there. Okay, you've had this perspective shift where you have started looking fondly upon yourself and therefore your situation has reflected that change, right? It feels mirrored. It feels like um, you meet your other side and then you meet your other half. Or if you're in a connection already, it feels like really taking that commitment to the next level, taking that relationship to the next level. 
Wheel of Fortune, which sets in motion a whole new series of events that feel like destined, that feel like this couldn't get any better. Abundance, remain positive. You've got no need to worry. Can we get a bit more information? A bit more information on this situation. And just notice how even with the first set of cards, every set of cards has been very particular. It, it hasn't had... Um, like cards flying out everywhere. It's been very particular cards coming out for you. You've got the High Priestess here. So yeah, definitely like um, you've gone within with this perspective shift. You've had a pause. You've had a moment to yourself. Queen of Cups. That's a beautiful match, okay? If you're resonating as in a... Don't, we don't do gender. We do energy. If you're resonating with either one of these, you're either someone who's really stable and grounded, and I feel emotionally grounded as well, not just materially. And then you've got someone who's emotionally grounded, very nurturing, very loving, very caring. So it's like someone is bringing home the bacon and someone is really like taking care of um, the family here. It doesn't need to be like that, but that's like the, the stereotypical view of things. I feel with this high priestess energy, You've aligned these parts of yourself and you've, I just hear, resigned yourself to accept love, okay? So it's, you know how people say, I've resigned myself to this idea and it's usually a bad thing. It feels like you've resigned yourself to actually realizing there's no need to worry, trusting all that will be well. I know that I'm having a shiny, happy, amazing relationship here. Is this Queen of Cups and King of Pentacles, um, is, that, is that Scorpio or is that a pair eight of crystals work are you working with this person do you meet this person through work um is it going to take some work to get to this point um has it taken work to get to this point three of crystals <sighs> yeah okay transformation the magician wow the lovers there we go serenity stunning stunning okay um I feel like you've, you definitely, it definitely feels like you have worked with this person or it's taken some work to get to this transformation state with this person, okay? This feels like the tower energy. It feels like something has completely crumbled down so that it could be rebuilt in the best possible way. And that's possibly where the helpful people have come into it. Um, if you resonate as, as being in a committed relationship, and that wasn't particularly healthy or it got to a stagnant point. It feels like it took a lot of work, but actually with the two of you connecting, right? Connecting to your heart space, um, and you've actually delved, you've both delved deep into what you knew you had inside you all along. Um, and you've come out with a new perspective um, and that has transformed completely your relationship. You've actually turned this, not just 180, but 365. Um, so yeah, that's a beautiful message. If this is not, if you're single as a Pringle, this is something that is transforming as you speak, as we speak. Um, and I do feel like it's coming into alignment very soon. This partnership, it, this, this love relationship possibly needed to transform outside of the workplace. Um, and needed a, a different perspective. It needed a, a new setting, okay? So possibly you've you've met at work, but you actually needed to take it out of that setting, possibly because you've been worried about um, the implications of what that, uh, like an inter-workplace relationship would look like or how it would uh, affect your workplace. And so one of you may have changed jobs so that you could be together. And that is set in motion, um, just so much abundance. The High Priestess, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Magician. It feels like anything is possible from this point forward. Like, ask the universe for what you want because anything you want is, is here. Lighten up. Be proud of yourself. Like, be proud of the path that you're walking on. Um, because when you take this situation out of of the... Okay, out of the dark. Oh, wow. Look at the... the four, four of Wands was just stuck to the table then. So taking this to a higher level commitment, possibly moving in together, um, possibly marriage, engagement, that kind of thing. This, this is beautiful, Scorpio. I, I want to know how, if this is a work connection, how is this developing? How is this developing? 
I'm going to take that. Oh, you may have actually like consoled each other over heartbreak. With that being in reverse, it's deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. And so this person might have come in for you and you might have been there for them, helping you get over heartbreak. And the transformation that's taken place has you be, like been opened your heart back up, you been proud of yourself for overcoming this and actually lightening up so much that you've let love back in stability security permanence growth endurance flexibility that's the king of crystals right there okay um and it's also the eight of crystals as well it feels like you've put in the hard work to grow this tree to a point where it's now able to bend with the wind and it's not going to fall over okay the transformation energy you've, you've built up love from a stronger foundation instead of having the leaning tower of pisa it feels like something that is like deeply rooted um, and again, this, this pinnacle energy all leads to so much abundance for you guys. It's almost like dream a little dream because anything you want from this point forward is yours. Wow. It feels very succinct too. Like it feels like, yep, that's what it is. Like there's no questioning here for you, Scorpio. Can we get another love oracle message here, please, spirit? freedom there is nothing stopping you the path is clear if you want it to be yeah from here on out there is no need to worry trust all will be well because the path you are treading is one that you have paved with gold you have paved with good intentions you have paved with healing it is port is it 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 is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. I do feel like you guys have had a lot of um, alone time, a lot of perspectives um, and, and a lot of deep diving into your psyche and your soul and your higher self and your heart chakra, your heart space. Uh, I do feel like that period has definitely been there. Uh, and I think you needed to do that to to discover whether this was worth the change in the job atmosphere okay if you relate to that situation or to a change in the material world so whether you were moving in together and you really had to like decide about this i think you you got the right help um you lightened up about how this could all turn out and you actually t decided to take a a positive perspective on this instead of thinking about the worst that was to come uh, you actually have thought, okay, well, what's the best that could happen? And in that instance, the best has started to evolve for you. The best has really started to evolve for you. And there's, it's, like I said, it's a stable foundation from here. Like you can plant a garden, you can grow a garden, you can grow a family. Like there's so much more. I just heard the word legacy. Amazing. And this is, remember that time is fluid. This is something that could start happening in February and then continue for the rest of the year. Because that's such a message, you know, that's such a big story there. Follow your heart. I am always rewarded when I follow my heart. I trust that the GPS in my heart knows all the best routes. And when it seems like it's taking too long to get where I want, I know that's because there's some cool, weird stuff to see along the way. The heart is riding a wave, okay? That's you lightening up. That's like you hanging tan, cool dude, right? <laughs> that is you going, yeah, I got my heart broken, but do you know what? There's good people out there. I'm a good person. Um, I'm going to connect with this person and there's no need to worry. We connect. That's great. Sometimes it's as simple as that. We don't need to overcomplicate it, okay? And it does feel like there was a bit of like, you know, um, finding the best route to take with this person, if it does have this work realm kind of vibe to it, and if there was a time where you really had to build security and stability on your own, I do feel like this coming together though, it's like, cool, let's do it. You know, it's a real lighten up and, it, and it's it, it's coming from a, an emotionally secure place, secure attachment styles here, but also feeling financially independent as a, a separate like individuals okay playfulness i am a playful participant in life and i always have the option to make something a fun game rather than a heavy burden mary poppins puts sugar in the medicine for a reason that lady really knows how to party 
this gives me chariot energy as well, like moving forward with a sense of optimism, okay? With a childlike sense of optimism. Patience, congratulations, you've, you've been granted more patience. You may start using it right away or much, much later. Waiting a long time is the sort of option now afforded to you by greater patience. Can you believe it? Look at this, you're still reading and you haven't started getting annoyed yet. Imagine how this patience will transform your life. Imagine how easy it will be to go to the post office. How easy it will be. I feel like you've been patient for this kind of love, for this kind of person, for this kind of stability, for this kind of like emotional fulfillment in self to be reciprocated. Okay. That's what I'm feeling. You've been through it. This person's been through it. You've both had your time of being alone and now you're working things out to build something really stable for yourselves. Congratulations, Scorpio. This is very exciting. Like I said, this might be something that starts in February and then has like a domino effect. Okay. A lot of abundance. There's no need to worry. Let me know how this resonated in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.